pirating in the game is a real thing now. Oh yeah. It's gonna get realer. <laughs> It's gonna get yeah. really and really from each pa from patch to patch moving forward. It's gonna be scary, man. Especially when a sense of loss is it's gonna be felt. It's gonna be scary, man. I don't know, man. Like, do you think people will receive that that type of mechanic? Having a real sense yeah. of loss in Star Citizen, do you think people will accept that? What do you mean by a real sense of loss? Like, um, reclaiming, somebody reclaiming will be take. expensive. Losing your ship will right. be expensive to replace. Yep. Um, going out to a different system, the time it takes to get there. You know? Lost in time yeah. alone. Lost in time, lost in AUEC, lost in, you know, maybe reputation, yep. I don't know. You know, I, I'm just hoping it doesn't become as brutal like, like um, Tarkov, right? Yeah. But uh, but to have at least a little bit of loss, you know. Well, but uh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know how it would be. I I, yeah. I don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> if I want to so, be robbed, I want to be surprised. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, that's that's that that that's there, right? So like. I want. I. Go ahead. So here here's the thing. Like, let me paint a scenario for you guys, right? You, um. And this is a real scenario that that, that I, I would probably do, especially with the organization, right? We will, you know, do scouting, right? Once, once multiple. Um, okay, let's say, let's say as a solo person, solo player, right? And let's say base building is in the game. Um, multiple systems is in the game, including pyro. Um, and let's say, you know, you're in Stanton. You start off in Stanton. You have, let's say, an MSR. You know, resource management is in, so you have oxygen to maintain, you have everything to maintain on your ship, right? Wow. And <laughs> yeah, you're starting to feel it, right? So now you want to go through to Nyx. In order to get to Nyx, you got to go through Pyro. You know how f how long Pyro is. Pyro you don't have, is, yep. Yeah, you don't have enough fuel to do that in an MSR. So going out there is an unknown thing you don't know if you'll come across a station right. you know close enough for you to refill to continue your trip that sense of loss of getting out there and getting stuck and then losing the stuff on your ship losing your components right because when you buy components i think what they want to do is if you have let's say grade A components on your ship that you purchased and installed. If you claim your ship, you probably won't have get those back. You probably have to go and buy them. Or if you may have to pay extra premium to get those back. To so that's them. to replace them, right? So that whole sense of loss of time it takes for you to get there. You know, what you're trying to accomplish. You want to build a base in Nix. Right? You're yeah, bringing you're bringing stuff it. with you. You're bringing stuff in. that will help you build that base in your MSR. That's exciting. You know why? Mm. Because it forces a, a good player like me to become a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm man. not going to sit idly by where anybody takes my stuff and I can't buy back. <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, I have a it, simple philosophy and this is how I play my character too. If it's hostile, I kill it. Yeah. So if I get pirates attacking me, I'm fighting for what's mine. <laughs> but w what you don't know is when you when you run into when you when you go into a system, even in Stanton, right? Pirates are not going to show up as red. Yep. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> until pirates won't show up as, until they target you, right? You don't know. Yeah. 
Really? You run into somebody and, hey, man, I'm stuck. You got a service beacon, you go and help him. Seems like a nice guy. You have him on your ship. Next thing you know, components start, start failing on your ship because he went and dis he went and disconnected some stuff on your ship. Yeah. And now your location is being propagated to a pirate group. <laughs> yeah, more than that, 40 miles down the road. Yeah. An ambush occurs. And that, <laughs> yeah. You know, those are going to be real you, scenarios. I, that's why I see organization play is probably going to be a big one. Yes, it is. It's going to be huge. Uh, it's going to be critical, yeah, honestly. Yeah. A fast ship is going to be a big one, too. Oh, yeah. Because uh, you're going to be interdicted like it's nothing. Oh, yeah. I haven't played Tarkov. Um, All I remember is uh, Hell Levels in EverQuest. Hell Levels. Yeah, every five levels was a hell level, and it's like basically if you died in EverQuest, you lost experience. Oh, okay, shoot, that sucks. <laughs> so, you'd be okay. I'm playing my channel. I'm 45, and I die. I'm 44, and it takes oh, forever rough. to get that experience back. And it took forever to get through 45. <laughs> wow. So there was loss if you died. Okay. 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 So. I'm used to that. Mm. So, so, I played Eve for 10 years. And. Yeah, Eve's all the about end game, <laughs> The end game got to the point where if you weren't really good at trading and stuff like that, you'd have to spend 35 hours a week just grinding. Mm. to replace the equipment that you get shot out from under you in under five seconds <laughs> in fleet fights. Right, right. And so I don't mind the loss aspect of it as long as I don't have to grind for 35 hours a week to replace right. it. Right, 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 right. I, do, I, I play video games to have joy. I don't play them to have a second job. And I realize right. that there's people out there who, for whatever reason, sit in front of this monitor all day, every day, and right. grind. And they may fork out a bunch of money and be whales and be able to influence Star Citizen. But the rest of us mm -hmm. have jobs and lives. And we don't want to spend 40 hours a week in the game just to maintain our in-game content right 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 right. and if you are broke because you aren't able to spend that much time in the game mm -hmm. say you've had the game for a year two years when the game is released you've had it since beta mm -hmm. and you die in live because you don't have a great ship because you have a full-time job you have all this other stuff you don't mm -hmm. have enough time to grind like some other people mm -hmm. and you die, you lose, and like, I don't know exactly how it'll work. You like die seven or some, some I don't know, like 10 times maybe, mm -hmm. and you lose a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know if that's how it's going to be or not, but that's, I think I've heard that before. Mm -hmm. Um, and if, if you die repeatedly, especially if you have a smaller ship, because you can't, you don't have time to grind to get an overpowered ship right like if you're stuck on an aurora or something mm. you're not gonna progress at all and the more times you die the it just it, it's not easy for uh, people who aren't able to be on all the time right 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 kind of like what Omic was saying hmm Lex, you have any thoughts on that? Uh, I've played a lot of games with different scenarios. And to be honest with you, I don't mind, like I said, I don't mind losing my stuff. As long mm -hmm. as I don't have to spend like months trying to get it back, you know? Right. There must be some element of um, danger and loss in the game. You know, right. for it to be real. Right. Mm. 
but I don't know. It is good to have the risk of losing things, because otherwise, there you would be wanting to die to get around quicker. So, right. So if right. you land in a landing zone, and you don't want to wait five minutes for a tram or something, yeah. So you just like, eh, if I kill myself, I'm gonna spawn at the other end of the train and be there in thirty seconds. Mm. But if you keep all your stuff at nothing, like there's no consequence for that, then everyone's gonna be killing themselves for no reason just to get around the area quicker. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the first. That's the main reason they added. Uh, so like, if you die, you lose the stuff that's on your character, but that doesn't do much if you're at a landing zone mm -hmm. and all all you have on you is an undersuit and a helmet which you get right away when you respawn yeah but they, there needs to be like consequences for dying like you have to i want you to have to pay money for a clone when you respawn like clones right. shouldn't be free you need to transfer your identity to another clone mm -hmm. to be able to keep all the stuff you have that should cost money yeah. If it doesn't, then there's you just die as much as you want, nothing will happen. Right. Especially if all you have is an undersuit, which you get as soon as you respawn anyway. Yeah. Hmm. So so then it has there has to be some blend of loss, but not too mm -hmm. excessive not too extreme and not too extreme. i don't know how much they uh progress with this but like say you're in a fight there's an explosion you like lose a limb you mm -hmm. can replace that limb with like a robotic arm or something yeah um not yet like, uh not yet but I, I heard they were talking about it yeah that's something mm -hmm. that they're, they're planning yeah um but it's kind of like that like i'm sure i don't know exactly how that whole mechanic's gonna work yet i haven't looked much into it yeah. but um you need to have like if you are in a fight what happens if you lose your arm mm -hmm. how are you gonna get to the place to get another like a robotic arm how are you gonna mm -hmm. deal with that are you going to be able to use a mobile glass if your arm is missing? <laughs> right, 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 right. That is true. That's a good point. Hmm. It, it, it's... They're going to have to be... I, I feel like they're going to have to be careful. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of testing. They're going to introduce things that we're probably not going to like. And then... What makes it great is that we have a chance to voice our opinions on it. You know, I just hope we hope that they find a happy medium, which works for the majority, right? Um, because most people that play Star Citizen, they they work, they have responsibilities in life. They don't have as much time as you know some people, right? So um, I think it will make sense to have a, a you know a balance this way because i i don't i don't want to spend it will turn me off honestly man like even in eve online man when i when i played it man when when i <laughs> i i i do planetary um uh, interaction right so i'm i'm trying to build this I, I i try to build this you know manufacturing network that i, I well kind of like you know things that i I do to make money, right? So I, I retrieve resources from planet side and, you know, from that I, 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 you know, I manufacture things with it and then I take it to a main, you know, um, shopping hub or whatever location system where there's thousands and thousands of players go there to buy and sell, right? I go there to make my profit, right? But... Jira. Jira, yes. You know, so, yeah. and there are times when I do that and I get caught, you know, being in low sex, low security space and I get caught by pirates and within a second, they just take me out and take my millions of resources that I got off of a planet. 
you know, and I had to start all over. <laughs> I lo first of all, I lost my cargo. I lost my ship. I lost anything I had installed on that ship gone, you know, and it will completely turn me off, you know, but the game is so good. Sometimes you just go back and, you know, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough, man. There is one feature that I heard of in a different game um, mm. that like, so it's similar to this where you die, you have to pay to revive yourself uh, in a different clone. But okay. what happens is if you don't have enough money to revive yourself, mm. is that's when problems start happening. You can't afford a new body. You can't afford to clone mm. your identity. You, that's when you start losing stuff that you've worked for. Like you can't claim things anymore. You can't, right. like if you died in Pyro, you want to you spawn back at, I don't know, uh, Lorvo, and you want to reclaim the ship you blew up, but right. you couldn't afford the clone. Right. Um, all of a sudden, it's not in your inventory anymore because mm. you couldn't afford to pay the bill for the clone. So they had to take something to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Damn. So so then, what would what would make what would make and break that that kind of system is how easy it is it to make money, right? You know, because if it's hard to make and make money in that in that game, that's that's rough, isn't it? Yeah. Another thing they could do is. Um... So if you die and you pay a certain amount, you get your clone. But if you start to die a lot of times over a short period of time, mm. the cost of the clone starts to skyrocket. Yeah, it's kind of okay. like insurance. If you are being careless about stuff, it starts mm. stacking. Accumulating. Right. Yeah. That way, silly people like pad rammers and stuff like that are going to be punished. Right. for mm -hmm. doing that kind of activity while well, people who well i flew into the station and blew up ah shit you know mm. uh, okay i got my clone back i'm just gonna be more careful you know or right. i died in pvp i don't have to pay so much but right. you know these people who are dying over and over again because they're doing stupidity or being yeah. griefers or something along those lines they're gonna start having to fork out right I like that. Well, they could put a timer on it, even. Mm. Mm. Am I on your server?